a tenured Rutgers professor under fire and possibly under investigation for anti-Semitic posts on his Facebook page. Wait till you see this. Ashley Johnson has the full story. Ashley, what do you got for us? A tenured Rutgers professor is under investigation for what some have characterized as several anti-Semitic Facebook posts. Michael Chikindis, who has taught food science and nutritional services for almost two decades at Rutgers, found these posts from his account posted on the blog Israeli Cool. The blogger who lives in Israel says disheartened by feeling like there is a lot of anti-Semitism around the world, began monitoring anti-Israel and anti-Semitic sites. He says by a comment on one of those sites, that's how he found Michael Chikindis. I discovered that he's a, a university professor and that, that is very worrisome to me because obviously if you're a professor, you're in a position of responsibility towards students, you're in charge of their education, you're grading papers. And if someone harbors so much hatred towards any uh, section of society or particular race, race or nationality, then that, uh, I think there is a conflict of interest there. Michael Chikinda says he did not want his face on camera because he says he's been receiving death threats after the incident. He believes his account was hacked. Rutgers says in a statement, Professor Michael Chikindis' comments and posts on social media are anti cetical to our university's principles and values of respect for people of all backgrounds, including, among other groups, our large, vibrant Jewish community. Chikindis believes and says he has proof the Israeli cool blogger hacked his account. I asked why, and he says he has been exploring the issue between Israel and Palestine and sees only one side of the story, which shows Palestine as the oppressed. I was seeing only one side, and I never saw another side. So that made you take that side? Not take, but lean more towards that side. We will continue to stay on top of the situation and let you know if Rutgers takes any course of action. I'm Ashley Johnson, reporting for Chasing News. Thank you, Ashley. All right, let's bring in our A-plus panel to break this down. I'm joined by Jeanette Hoffman, political strategist. Always good to have you here, Jeanette. Welcome. Thanks, Bill. And Wayne Smith, former mayor of Irvington. Wayne, I'm going to start with you. Okay. Uh, State University, tenured professor. Uh, this is obviously, some of these remarks, um, way beyond anti-Israel. I mean, you're talking about the Jewish religion. Should he be fired? Oh, I think so, but I'm, I'm, he has a due process. That's what tenure requires you. But, but it, I mean, the horrendous things that he posted, yeah. the things that he said is intolerable. So it, it, it probably calls for a ratcheting up and a speeding up of that process to get him off campus. It's this time, Jeanette, to really not only look at the whole process of tenure, but it seems that we're hearing report after report of professors just going way beyond what they ought to be doing uh, yeah. in their role as professors. Yeah, and I mean, there is no gray area here. These posts are clearly anti-Semitic. This is not thoughtful Middle East public policy right. that he's posting. And we've seen this. I feel like I was telling you. You know, he's a food professor. Yeah. He's the head of the Digestive but Health Center. It, it's so bizarre to me. And I feel like every week there's another story of some professor going crazy and saying some really reprehensible things. So yeah, I think we need to examine tenure. And I think most of these professors have a code of conduct in their university handbook that they have to abide by. This guy clearly didn't do that. When do you agree uh, too much on the tenure side? It seems that the tail is wagging the dog. The professors really have the staying power I, even I, through things like this. Yeah, I, I think there are some things that reach the level that Tenure should not protect things yeah. that are. Yeah. That and in general, I think on social media, we've taken this freedom of speech thing a little too far when we're posting hate speech and not expecting any consequences from it. Okay. Thanks, guys.